My name is Rick Arter and you're watching Tech News. Today I'd like to talk to you guys about some new motherboards coming out from Gigabyte and what you guys can be looking forward to. Uh, there are three motherboards here that they're going to be releasing and they're going to be based off the P67 and H67 platforms. And basically there's three boards, two of them are regular ATX, one of them is a micro ATX board. And the first board is the P67A UD3R which is actually going to feature a black scheme as compared to their normal blue. The model below that, which is going to be another regular ATX motherboard, that is the P67A UD3, which is going to have the traditional uh, light blue and regular kind of darker blue uh, PCB and features on the board. Then the uh, last but not least, the micro ATX board that they're uh, releasing here. Uh, scroll down here, I got some stuff that I got it wrote down here, is the H67MA-UD2H, uh, which is going to feature the on-die graphics capability from the Intel CPUs. It's going to have the flexible display interface, uh, which will feature DVI, D-Sub, DisplayPort, and HDMI. Uh, it also does away with all the PCI connectors, or PCI slots, excuse me. It has two PCI Express 16 slots. Uh, 116 and 1 by 4 and then two PCI by E uh, 1x slots so um, and then going back up because I know you guys are probably more interested in the high-end boards uh, basically it's going to be socket 1155 for the new Sandy Bridge architecture uh, it's going to support 32 nanometer Sandy Bridge CPUs uh, it's going to be the ultra durable 3 with the two ounces of copper in the PCB it's going to support 2200 megahertz DDR3 memory support with overclocking, I'm sure. Um, two USB 3.0 ports, dual PCI Express by 16 slots uh, with crossfire support, but there's no word on SLI at the moment, I'm sure aftermarket or other brands or even Gigabyte later on will release that. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, the regular ATX motherboards are going to feature four uh, SATA 3 6 gigabyte per second connectors while the micro ATX motherboard will only support three. But still that's a heck of a lot more than what's offered now. So um, this should be something to definitely look forward to and uh, please leave a comment or post a video response and let me know what you guys think of these new motherboards or anything else that you guys would like to see me cover in tech news. Uh, so I will see you guys later and thanks a lot for watching.